Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be talking about a feature in .NET called Auto Sync File System. Now, where is this feature location located, and what it what does it do? So let's first of all let's log into the back end of our website. It's a DNN551, and I'm going to log in as super user because we do have to access the host menu so here it is now this option called auto sync file system is located under host host settings and if we scroll all the way down we're gonna see it under other settings and we scroll all the way down again so here's the option called auto sync auto sync uh, file system and it's checked by default. Now, what, what this feature is supposed to do for us, for, for the site, uh, it is supposed to keep the file system in the site files in sync with the database, with the site itself. Uh, for instance, if we go to admin file manager, that option when checked should synchronize any new file that are uploaded to any folder within the portal root. It should synchronize the file system with the database of the website. Now, if you try to upload a file by using the upload feature within the file manager, when you do that, the information, the, the file will be automatically ration in the database as well. So uh, no synchronization happens because you will be used the interface of file manager itself. But in case you are using uh, FTP or if you are creating files directly into the folder system of the website, then that's when the auto synchronization will come in place. Let's, let's see an example here. Uh, Let's go to the site files of this folder and let's create a file there inside this folder directly and see what will happen here. So if you are accessing the site via FTP, you should do that using an FTP application. But in my case here, this is localhost. I'm running this from my local computer so I can just open Windows Explorer and I can see the site files. So I do have the folder here. This is the root folder of my site. I'm going to portals zero. So portals zero will represent portal root folder of my main site, uh, my main dot that look portal. So this root folder that says here portal root will represent physically the folder number zero under portals under my website. So just to prove it, you see this accounting PDF file. And if you go to the site, you're going to see accounting PDF as well. So we are seeing here from Windows Explorer, we are seeing the root folder of this portal. Now, let's create a temporary file called um, uh, 01.txt. Uh, so we're just going to go to the site files. I'm just going to create a new file. Actually, better than that, let's rename a file. We have this file called community icon. Let's rename this by 01file.gif. Let's just rename this. And let's have a look at our files uh, in the website. I'm just going to refresh this page so it can read again. So our new file or our renamed file is already located here. I can see it right away. And this is this happened because that option was checked. The option called auto synchronization file system was checked. Now, if I uncheck that option, I just want again to prove the point here. If I uncheck that option, if I click update, which by the way comes checked by default and you usually want it checked. And I feel if I go back to admin file manager, if I go now to my file, my file system and rename this file again, let's say to 02, 
and I try to refresh this page. As you can see, the file here is still uh, being called 01file.gif, where the actual file in the file system is now called 02file.gif. Now, it's not get synchronized because I haven't checked that option. So I just want to, to make a point that that option is to synchronize the file, the file system with the database of the website. Now, even if that option isn't checked, I could synchronize the file system in the, in, the, in the database by using this option at the top that says synchronize files. I can select recursive so it does for the entire uh, three of folders and I can just hit synchronize and you're gonna see that this will change to 02 with the new name that I have just given. Let's click synchronize. As you can see, it has renamed it automatically. But let's keep that option checked. That's that, I mean, you should keep it checked. I just want to make sure that you understand that option. Now, I want to show a little, I would, I would call it bug because I think it can be fixed and I think it's just an overlook. If you have a look at the portal folders, we can see four folders here. If I have a look at my site files, we can also see four folders. Now, if I create a new folder here, and I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna try to create a new folder, I'm gonna call it, um, well, let's leave it as new folder. I have just created a new folder. The option called auto sync file system is checked. So what I would expect to happen is that if I go back to the site and if I refresh this page, sorry, if I just refresh this page and I expand it again here, I would expect that new folder would show up here, but it's not doing that. And again, I think it's a bug and I think that eventually someone will report that or even I will report that, but it did not show the new folder that I have created. Now, if I want the folder to show up, I will have to check synchronize files and actually I'm gonna, again, check recursive synchronize files. What will happen is that the synchronize files option will force not only file synchronization, but folder synchronization as well. So if I expand port root, now I can see my new folder. So out of sync file system is working well for files synchronization, but not so much for folder synchronization. And that can be a problem if you are allowing people or maybe your admin users to use FTP on your site and send uh, files, send images, create folders under the portal root uh, where the website should be able to see those files as well. So again, if you do need to, to synchronize to make sure that folders are visible, you do need to go under admin, file manager, and then you can just click on the root folder and hit synchronize files. Now, where else uh, is this impacting uh, in your website? And this is uh, will impact also within the, the text editor. If, for instance, if you go to the homepage and if I enter into edit mode of the contents, and if I want, let's say, to add a new image to this page by clicking the, the image manager. Now, what I'll see here is a, is a list of folders that are located under the root folder. And those folders are only shown here because they are synchronized with the, with the database. So it's important to have the synchronization happening. Otherwise, you will not be able to see new folders created outside the site directly via FTP or via Windows. In, in, in my case, here, Windows Explorer, you will not be able to see them if you don't synchronize them. Okay, so basically this is a quick and simple overview of the auto sync file system uh, option available in .NET Nook. Thank you very much and bye for now.